What's going on everyone? Jonathan Crumpman here, Master Trainer Art Labs Welding School. So today I got Jesse Hayes here, the lead instructor of our Piedmont Cat Campus. He's gonna be going over with you one of the most important steps in any type of welding you can do. It's gonna be preparation and fit up to your weld joint. All right, so he's gonna be demonstrating today the fit up of V-Groove, all right, running MIG root, short circuit MIG, and then filling cap with flux core. All right, so Jesse, go ahead and take it away. Got our grinder with our flat wheel. And what'll happen is that mill scale will get in those pits of that metal. So you just want to dig in just a little bit, take that top layer off, make it all nice and smooth. And what I like to do is put about a 16th or a 332 landing on there. See, it's pretty close. I got a piece of 332 TIG wire. So all I've done is I prepped both of these plates with a landing like I like. 1 16th, 332. It's just what I like on them. Try to match them up the best I can. Because the last thing you want is a bad joint prep, because then that leads to all kind of other stuff. It leads to, first of all, improper joint prep. Then you get anything, lack of penetration, you get lack of fusion, all the stuff you don't want in your weld. So what I've done here is I took my gauge wire, which I'm gonna be using a 1 8 to set my gap. Got it set where I want it to. Not too worried about this side, we'll get it in a minute. Just make sure I don't have any high-low, and the gap's pretty close all the way around before I give it a tap. All right, so we put our first tack in. Usually when you tack one side of a piece of metal, it'll draw up a little bit. This time we got pretty lucky. We don't have to manipulate it too much. So we'll flip it around, put our other tack in, get ready to start feathering things. All right guys, so we got our cutting wheel on there, which is what I like to use when we start feathering everything. So I'm just gonna break it all down and we're gonna start feathering now. So what we've done is we've taken the density out of that tack so when I fire up on that root right here, that tack will essentially just blow away and I'll have one solid root. Okay, so look, that's the proper way to fit up and prep for a 3G MIG root and flux core filling cap. Tune in for part two to check out the rest. <laughs> 